difference between squirrel cage and slip ring induction motor. Here is a breakdown of the key differences between squirrel cage and slip ring induction motors. Rotor construction. Squirrel cage. This motor features a simple and rugged rotor design. It consists of cylindrical conducting bars made of copper or aluminum, short-circuited at both ends by end rings. There are no windings or brushes involved. Slip ring. This motor has a more complex rotor with windings similar to a stator. These windings are connected to external resistors through slip rings and brushes. This allows for adjusting the resistance in the rotor circuit. Starting Performance Squirrel Cage These motors offer lower starting torque compared to slip ring motors. The high starting current can also cause strain on the motor components. However, their simplicity makes them suitable for applications where frequent starts aren't required. Slip Ring Due to the ability to adjust the resistance in the rotor circuit, slip ring motors offer high starting torque with lower starting current. This makes them ideal for applications requiring heavy loads at startup, like cranes or elevators. Speed Control Squirrel Cage Speed control in squirrel cage motors is generally limited. Some options include multi-speed motors or variable frequency drives, but these add complexity and cost. Slip ring. The ability to adjust the rotor resistance allows for more precise speed control in slip ring motors. This makes them suitable for applications where variable speed is necessary. Cost and maintenance. Squirrel cage. Due to their simpler design, squirrel cage motors are generally less expensive to purchase and maintain. The lack of brushes and slip rings reduces maintenance requirements. Slip ring. The added complexity of the rotor with slip rings and brushes increases the cost of slip ring motors. Regular maintenance of brushes and slip rings is also necessary. Applications Squirrel Cage These motors are widely used in various applications due to their simplicity, reliability, and affordability. Common uses include pumps, fans, compressors, and other constant speed applications. Slip Ring Slip ring motors are typically used in applications requiring high starting torque, variable speed control, or both. Examples include cranes, hoists, conveyors, and machinery with heavy starting loads. Conclusion In summary, the choice between a squirrel cage and slip ring motor depends on your specific needs. For constant speed applications with lower starting torque requirements, a squirrel cage motor is a cost-effective and reliable option. However, if high starting torque variable speed control, or both are crucial, then a slip ring motor might be the better choice, despite the added complexity and cost.